Okay, I'm in the training room with Aidan and Sagat, and in this part of the video I'm going to be making a reference point which will help to synchronize both videos, uh, one video being the in-game footage and the other being uh, my camera recording my hands on my arcade stick. So, um, without further ado, I'm just going to go into the training options and turn on the input display. This will um, help in finding the, uh, the reference point for the synchronization. I'm just going to press Aedon's roundhouse. Uh, for making a reference point, you can use any button you want. You can use special move and an ultra, uh, whatever floats your boat. Okay, I'm just going to go back into the game options and turn to the input display. Uh, maybe for your video, if you want the uh, inputs to be displayed the whole time, go ahead. But for this video, I just want to uh, turn them off. Okay, so I'm going to try to do something semi spectacular. So you don't need a cross combo into um, rising down your right into. Uh, Okay, now that I've got the footage of the in-game and the footage of my hands, I'm going to go to the editing room. Okay, I'm in the editing room. As you can see, I'm using Caden Live in Linux to make this video. And as you can see on the left-hand side here, I have my two clips. One of them is named Handview, the other one is named GameView. It's always good to label your clips. Uh, for archiving purposes, or if you have a load of clips that you're going to be putting into the timeline, you want to know what you're putting into the timeline, and not, you know, dragging them in and then trying to guess, oh, this is this clip, that's that clip. But anyway, on with the task. So I'm going to get the game view video, and I'm going to pop it on the second layer, like so. Um, the reason why I'm popping it here will make become clear later on in the video, but anyway. So basically, I'm going to look for the first frame of Adon Standing Roundhouse, which I used as a reference point for the synchronization of both videos. And I'm just going to scroll through. It should be somewhere around here. Okay, there we are. Uh, okay, there we are. Okay, there we are. And as you can see, this is why I left the input display on, because obviously, if you're scrolling through, and if you're not sure, um, you know, where you are, well, how long. Well, when the button was pressed, you can clearly see that, you know, the roundhouse icon appears. So I'm going to scroll backwards, and we're going to look for that first frame of um, the animation. And there is that neutral pose. And there you go. There's the first frame. And if I click, for, if I scroll one frame forward, the icon should appear for the roundhouse. There you go. But we don't want that. We want the very first frame, which is here again. There you go. Neutral pose, first frame, neutral pose, first frame. Right, so I'm going to cut here and get rid of the excess that we don't need. I'm going to leave that there for the moment and then I'm going to do the same thing for the hand view video. So I'm going to cut out from here and cut back in again when I get the first, well, my finger pushing down the roundhouse button for the hand view video. Okay, I'm back and I've added the hand view video and I've also located the frame where my finger pushes down the roundhouse button, as you can see, in the project monitor view. So, as it stands now, everything is pretty much in sync. I mean, all I have to do really is just grab the game view video and drag it to the beginning of the timeline, even though the handy video extends for, well, plays longer than the in-game video, everything is still in sync. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go to the end of the in-game video and that should be it right there. Grab the handy video and chop off the excess that we don't need, like so. And everything is pretty much in sync. Um, I know this because I've done this before. And all I have to do now is add a composite effect, which is the star of the show. So I'm going to click on the hand view video and then go into add effect. Well, sorry, should I say transition, not effect, but obviously. In the program that you're using, you know, it's probably under a different name, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna add the composite effects, and it doesn't look like much. Um, this yellow little box here, that's the composite effect. As you can see, there's all the controls that you've got um, to your disposal. So I'm just gonna drag this in between both layers and stretch out for the duration of both videos. And there we go. And as it stands, I want the 
hand view video to be smaller than the in-game video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down um, to a reasonable size, maybe, I don't know, to about there. And as you can see, it looks like, you know, it's garbled because we've got like a bigger copy and a smaller copy of the hand view video. Um, but this will make sense in a, in a little, in a second. And all I have to do now is really just drag the timeline to updates. And as you can see, there's my hands and there's the in-game uh, footage being displayed at the same time. One last thing I'm going to do, just to make this a little bit neater, is a center it horizontally. So I'm going to grab the composite and just click this button here. And for the handy video, I'm going to rotate it. Or should I say flip it 180 degrees? Well, rotate it really. Uh, 180 degrees. I'm going to misc and rotate. I'm going to go on the x axis. So I'm going to bring that to the end, 180. And as you can see, you know, it looks a bit more neat. It looks like I've shot the video from top down, where in reality I had the camera just pointing at my joystick, pointing at the my hands, holding the joystick at like a 45 degree angle. Um, but you know, as it stands, it looks like it was shot from top view. Um, so this is some, that's something to think about as well when you're setting up your camera for your hands. You know, you don't necessarily have to be top view to get a top view look. There's always like a tool or a way of making it look top view. Um, shout out to Mr. Dust Kicker because I remember he said he was going to put his hands uh, from top view in his videos, but he was saying something about his camera being too big. And ever since he said that, I remember just like scratching my head, you know, trying to figure out a way of you know, you know, showing my hands from top down. Well, that being top down. And my camera's probably not as big as his, I'm not really sure what camera he's got, but you know, to shoot top down with this camera that I've got is, would be a bit tricky, but anyway. Um, so there we have it, we've got my hands, so we've got the in-game um, video in the background, all in sync. And as a testament to this, I'm not even going to edit out the bits where I'm talking of what I was doing in the menus, you know, adding the, the um, input displays and whatnot, or even going to, there's a bit, there's a part where I've said, you know, I'm going to go to the edit room. I'm not even going to edit that out, I'm just going to leave all that in. And again, as a testament to this method, you're going to see just how everything is really synchronized, you know. This is why I like this method. Again, you know, if you try this method and it's a bit tricky, you know, think outside the box, experiment, see what works for you, you know, make a video response, uh, whatnot. So anyway, I'm going to leave the video here and I'm just going to render this out and you're going to see the complete video. Uh, for making a reference point, you can use any button you want. You can even use special wave and ultra, uh, whatever floats your boat. Okay, I'm just going to go back into the chain options and turn the input display. Um, I mean, for your video, if you want the uh, inputs to be displayed the whole time, go ahead. But for this video, I just want to uh, turn them off. Okay, so I'm going to try to do something semi spectacular. Maybe I'll maybe a cross combo into um, Rising Jaguar into uh, Ultra. <laughs> okay, now that I've got the footage of the in game and the footage of my hands, I'm going to go to the editing room.